welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl Maggie Kanyo here with another amazing video. If you're new here, karibu sana. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Yeah, and if you are new here, you are welcome to the family. Please subscribe. Yeah, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So guys, have you ever asked yourself how the railway came into existence in Kenya? Yeah, that means of transport. I'm here to give you a brief explanation of the railways, how they came into existence. So come, let's tour the Nairobi <laughs> Railway Museum. Just welcome to my this amazing, amazing graffiti. Yeah, people have got talent. Because they are actually like, yeah, people have just welcomed by this cute environment and cute graffiti over here. Mm -hmm. Nairobi Railway Museum started in 1971 by the East African Railways, but it is operated by the Kenya Railways Corporation. And guys, this is the location from Nairobi CBD. It will take you about 1.7 kilometers to this destination. Take Moy Avenue down to Afia Center at the roundabout. Take Haile Selassie Avenue up to the Kenya Poly, which is currently the Technical University of Kenya. On your left, take Workshop Road. Straight, you will see Station Road. Which, lead, which will lead you to the Nairobi Railway Museum. And now these are the entrance, entrances fees for the Nairobi National Museum. For Firstly, for non we have non-residents and residents for kids and adults. Firstly, we have non-resident adults. They will charge you 600 Kenyan shillings and that is 6 USD. Secondly, we have non-resident students. They will charge you 300 shillings, which is 3 USD. Residents adults, they will charge you 500 Kenyan shillings. Resident students, 200 Kenyan shillings. Resident child or a kid, they will charge you 100 bob. Citizen adults, they will charge you 200 Kenyan shillings. And for citizen students or child, they'll charge you a hundred bob. There are several rooms inside the Nairobi Railway Museum. Let's start with the first room. The first room shows a map showing the history about how railways evolved. Yeah, and there are several displays.
go to the second room. The second room is rather small and brief. It's also known as the communication room. Since, since it has pictures of those tangible communication tools like bells, phones, torches, ships, steering wheel used back then. The last room in the Nairobi Railway Museum. In this room, it has displays and talks of the modern rails, which are accustomed by the Kenyan government in collaboration with the Chinese. And these are the opening hours of the Nairobi National Museum. The Nairobi National Museum is always open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. seven days a week. During the holidays and national functions, the place is rarely closed. Uh, so guys, this, this train is a locomotive. Actually, all of them, they are steam locomotives. Like, like for instance, this one was using firewood and you can see them uh, you take the firewood and you place them here inside here 
so that's when they burn they remove the steam and yeah so guys this is the way you can differentiate between the firewood one and the steam one like for the firewood one it's open yeah but for the steam So this is one of the trains used by at the in the colonial periods. Yes, colonial periods. You can see the other one here. This is a huge one. Oh, I'm loving how they were organized. Like we have several cubes with, with comfortable seats and tables, yeah, and some places that that you can put your luggages and yeah, it was quite comfortable. It was so good. Yeah, you yeah.
until i see you in my next video stay safe i love you all please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel hit on the notification bell so that you may get notified whenever i upload a new video and then guys follow me on instagram it's magi kanyoi tiktok magi kanyoi facebook magi kanyoi everywhere magi kanyoi yeah but mostly don't forget to subscribe bye Thank you.